Musical about golf. I like the idea, but but what, what would we call it? I got it. It's ingenious. How about golf the musical? Recently, Rich Lerner made a little jaunt to the Big Apple to take in the sights in the holiday season. Along the way, he got spotted and talked into taking in a show. It was an appropriate performance considering Rich's line of work. The whole episode was and is a success. Golf and music just don't seem to mix, but Golf the Musical is currently playing here in New York, and the cast of the show joins us now. How dorky was my opening? Oh, <laughs> wonderful. You guys were snickering at me over here. You're <laughs> supposed to be with me. We're supposed to be one. They tell you right off the bat, you'll hear songs about golf, skits about golf, jokes about golf. If it's in the show, it's about golf. But the real question is, why a show about golf? We were inspired by the singing and dancing talents of Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Come on, you can give me a better reason than that. Every idea sounds good when you're drunk. <laughs> and the number one reason for a musical about golf? Ball jokes. Lots and lots of balls. <laughs> do, 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 do. When you produce a show called Golf the Musical, well, how many musical numbers can you count on? Why, 18, of course. And there isn't a single mulligan in the entire show. Watching the foursome dance and sing their way through all the gags reminded me of the good old days of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> golfers and non-golfers alike were laughing for the entire two hours, myself included. Then the really big moment, a special guest appearance in the show's putting competition. Just watch and learn. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Only thing is, this young lady beat me in sudden death. Do other people come up to you and say everything you guys did tonight? I mean, everybody. You know, that's why it's so funny, because you can relate to it. Well, that's the great thing about doing the show, especially in this space, because we can see everybody's face. And, and there's always, you know, a couple of lines where the, where the wives go, oh, that's you, yeah, honey, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And it's, it's, it's fun when we know that there's that, that recognition, you know, about the game of golf. Good question. With its wider appeal, baseball has been done successfully on Broadway. But golf? Well, the creators feel it is unique among sports. The one that seems to have the most, almost maniacal devotion to it is golf. And it's that, it's the maniacal devotion that, uh, to anything, but in this case to golf, I think that is very, very funny. What do you have a fitness gallery? And 30 million American golfers and no musical. So it actually came out of that impulse to do something that audiences would enjoy, that would be fun for us to do, that uh, there hadn't been one of before. There have been relationship musicals, there have been political musicals. There hasn't been a golf musical. Now there is. We're Callaway Clubs downtown. The guy's the name street. is Tom in a garbage can in the street. So that's when we got a lot of the clubs from the show. I wish I had found that myself. Why do you found it? Like an aspiring tour pro looking to work his way up through the ranks, Golf the Musical hopes to graduate from the 74 seat John Hausman Studio Theater A on West 42nd Street off Broadway to a bigger stage, perhaps 499, the limit for off Broadway. Ultimately, the producer believes his show could find a home at major fundraisers and corporate pro-ams across the country. 
At present, it is, fittingly, 18 songs in two, what else, nine number acts. It's Featuring naturally a foursome of seasoned Broadway players, one woman and three men, including two-time Tony Award nominee Joel Blum, who has a bit of Jack Lemon in his bag. My days are numbered. My movements are encumbered. But I'm going golfing tomorrow. It is campy and silly, written certainly not for highbrow theater goers. It was written for anybody. It was written for people who golf and for people who love people who golf. In other words, it's not from the outside, it's from the inside. For golfers. In part two, a rousing gospel celebrating Tiger Woods. Let's go golf in the golf and the crowd pleasing closing number. I'm going golfing tomorrow. It seems to be the number that, that when we, you know, it's 10 below and snowing. You know, I'm, and then, but I'm going golfing tomorrow. Everybody, and you can see their faces, they go, the wives are going, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Yeah. You are going to upset. You drive me crazy. Yeah. From Plus, this yeah, reporter so makes his record. <laughs> I'm from the Food Network. <laughs> And dinner's on you tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> and find out what the New York Times had to say about golf, the musical. You might be surprised. As we say goodbye from Golf, the musical, we wanted to thank you, Rich, for having us on your show. The Golf Channel broadcasts round the clock each day of the year. And every golfing insomniac is happy that they're here. <laughs> That's a cheap shot. We'll see part two of Rich's Off-Broadway Experience on Sunday, but the Golf the Musical cast also helped out Peter Jacobson in his All Jake Team Award show. He will honor the best and the worst of 2003 on December 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on the Golf Channel.